Hello, this is Katie from Lady Red Crafting, and today we're going to decoupage three different crafts using these fun napkins. Let's get started with craft number one. For this craft, I went to the thrift store and I got some wood spoons. And this wood spoon was a little bit worn. Um, it had some burn marks, but that's no problem. We're going to paint over those. And you can see me here sanding down the handle of the spoon. And I want the handle to look really nice because I am not going to paint over the handle portion. So I just wanted to sand anything off of the spoon there. Next, I'm gonna put this on a paintable surface and I'm gonna grab my painter's tape and I'm going to tape a line around the bottom of the spoon part of the spoon. Now I'm gonna grab my Waverly chalk paint in the color white and I'm going to paint the top half of the spoon on both sides. While you're watching me paint the spoon, I wanted to say thank you everybody for watching. We made it to 900 subscribers this week and I am so thankful for all of your guys' support. Thanks again for watching. Please continue to hit that like button or comment down below and uh, we're on to the next step. So once we're done painting the spoon, I'm going to remove that painter's tape and it leaves a nice clean line there, which is great. Now I'm going to remove the back layer of the napkin and we're gonna cut a small piece out to fit over the top part of the spoon and around the edges. And you can see that I line up the straight edge with the straight edge of the paint on the bottom. And then I'm just going to paint the uh, Mod Podge over the top of the spoon. For this Mod Podge, I used a matte colored Mod Podge. So with this Mod Podge, I'm kind of just painting around the edge and I'm letting the leftover napkin just kind of hang out. I don't want that piece on the back side. What I'm going to do is just, I will tear it or it's, it almost falls apart with the Mod Podge because it's so sticky, but it just kind of pulls right off. So we're just gonna get the front and the sides of the spoon with this piece of the napkin. And I just kind of tear that last little piece off there at the bottom and just seal everything in with the Mod Podge. Once everything is nice and dry, I'm going to grab my zip sander here and I'm just gonna sand the edges to make sure that we've gotten any of the excess Mod Podge off. Next, we're going to go ahead and cut another piece of the napkin and we're going to do the same on the back side but this time we're not going to do the edges and we're going to finish this with a small bow a white bow and now you have a cute piece of decor that you can add in your kitchen somewhere or add to a tiered tray craft number two for this craft i found this cute dish at the thrift store and we're going to decoupage it I'm going to flip this over to the back side and then I'm going to take my napkin and I'm putting the good side face down onto the dish. And now I'm going to paint my Mod Podge all over the top of the dish. We're not going to worry about the edges right now. We're just going to paint everything down on the dish that we can. Once that's done, we set this aside to dry. We're not gonna mess with the paper at all. Just leave it aside to dry. And once it's dry, it's gonna kind of look like this. And I just go ahead and take my zip sander, yes, my favorite tool in my toolbox, and I go ahead and I zip sand off any of the excess paper on the dish. So now we're gonna put this face down, and I'm going to take my Waverly chalk paint in the color white, and I'm going to paint over the top of the Mod Podge. By painting over it in white, what it will do is it'll allow the napkin to really show its true colors when we flip it over onto the front side of this dish. So that is why we're doing this coat of white paint. So in just a moment here, I'll show you what it looks like underneath. So while we have a moment, please drop a line below and tell me where you're watching from. I'm from Washington State. Let's flip this over so you can see what it looks like and you can see how vibrant these colors now look with the white paint below. But I don't wanna leave this white, so I'm going to paint it in a teal color. So I'm using an acrylic paint from Walmart and I'm just going to cover the bottom part of this leaf in teal. Once the paint has dried, I'm going to flip over the dish 
and I'm going to take a paper towel with a little bit of Windex on it and I'm just going to wipe down any extra paint that may have gotten in spots I didn't want and make sure the dish is nice and clean. Now let's grab some gold rub and buff. Uh, this is the first time I've used this product, but I've seen a lot of people use it before. So I thought, hey, let's try it out. So I'm going to go ahead and just paint around the edges of this dish to give a gold rim um, on the top side of this dish. Now once this gold rim dries, I'm going to flip over the leaf and I'm just going to lightly brush any more of that gold all over the bottom just to kind of emphasize the fun leaf pattern on the back side of this dish. So now that everything has dried, I'm going to go ahead and flip over this dish so we can get a good look at what the inside of the dish will look like and what the back side of the dish will look like. Now, I didn't know what to seal this with, so honestly, I have not sealed this yet. If you guys have any suggestions on what you would seal it with, please comment below. Craft number three. For this craft, I'm using a charger plate that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to use the napkin as well. I love the color of this uh, charger, so I'm not going to paint it. I'm just going to keep it the way it is. So the first step here is I'm going to cut the napkin in a circle and I try to kind of measure it out in a triangle shape there and then do a circle which turned into an oval so I had to try it again. But eventually I did get it really close to what the circle was inside there. And so we're going to go ahead and I just put a little bit of Mod Podge on the plate first for this step. So now we're just going to spread that Mod Podge around on the plate until we got a nice coat around the whole circle inside. And then I'm going to set down the napkin. And to press this down, I didn't wanna get too much pressure on the napkin and tear it. So I used my little makeup applicator that I have from the Dollar Tree that I usually use for hot glue. And I just used it to tap everything down. I'm going to grab this twine that I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, it came in red, white, and blue, but I'm just gonna use the white and the blue and I use two strands of the white and one strand of the blue. I tie a quick knot at the top, tape it down and do a basic braid. Um, I believe I did about two and a half to three foot strands to make this braid. Once this braid is complete, I do tie it off at the end and then I take my lighter and I just get any extra pieces of fray off of that braid. Set that aside and let's go back to the plate. I'm going to go ahead and put another coat of Mod Podge over the top of the napkin, this time to just seal it all in. If you get a little sloppy with the Mod Podge, because sometimes I try to go too quick, um, I just grabbed a baby wipe, and since this charger is plastic, it was very easy to just wipe that off. Then I grabbed this cute fan from the Dollar Tree to let that dry. Forewarning, that fan does not last very long. I went through two sets of batteries, and it broke after the second set. Moving on to the next step here, I use this die cut from the Dollar Tree in the word blessed and I'm going to go ahead and paint this with my black chalk paint. Now once this paint has dried, I'm going to grab my zip sander and we're going to go ahead and just lightly sand over the top of the paint just to give some of that wood some chances to come through on that. And I want to apologize in advance because I did not show you how I started the rope on the inside of this plate. I forgot that the camera wasn't on and I started anyways. So you can see me finishing this up here, but basically what I did was I took that rope and I went ahead and I just hot glued it all the way around the inside layer of that plate. And if I got too much hot glue on there, I just kind of made sure to get that off right away so it wasn't stuck onto the charger on the outside because I didn't want any of that glue to show. At the very end there, I retied it off and I just made sure that the two knots were hitting at the same spot. Now let's make a bow to cover those knots. I'm using some wired burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I'm basically taking that burlap ribbon and I made three loops on either side and then I attached it in the center with a piece of pipe cleaner now once we have that attached in the center, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut the tails of the ribbon 
and then I'm going to go ahead and just fluff the bow. You can leave it like this, but I like to cover up that pipe cleaner. So I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of the leftover braided ribbon that we did earlier today. And I'm just going to wrap that around the uh, center of the bow. And then I just hot glue that on, cut off any excess. And to make sure it stays, I pinch that with one of my pink clips. Set that aside to dry. While that's drying, I'm going to grab my hot glue again and I'm going to hot glue the word blessed into the center of the plate. And then we'll go ahead and attach that bow over the top of those knots of the rope that we braided earlier today. All that's left is to fluff that bow and figure out where you want to hang this fun little charging plate. Thank you for watching. For more videos, click on the recommended link above.